this year's theme is come as you are. It's a very authentic request. How did you interpret that in a fashion way? <laughs> How did I interpret come as you are in a fashion way? I didn't really interpret it in a fashion way so much as a literal way. Um, <laughs> that they, I've basically got two lanes. One, dress smart like I'm told to, and two, dress like, like I do at home, which is this. Um, so this is... Um, uh, uh, this is a Liverpool shirt. Liverpool played this morning uh, with a team that I like. Uh, so I've been wearing this. Um, so I ju just carried on wearing it. I went with comfort. So uh, I really in interpreted it uh, as fashion would go in terms of uh, just going with what I was wearing this morning. That's great. Um, and as a Connecticut resident, I want to know, are you dedicating this award to Danbury? <laughs> well... I mean, that is a very good point. It is, uh, we don't, I don't have full news there. I will say it's very promising. Um, uh, for those that don't know, um, it seems like uh, there is a chance that I may, as nice as this is, and it is very, very nice. Um, my dream this year has been to have a sewage plant named after me in Danbury, Connecticut. And I'm close. I feel like I'm real close. Uh, so hopefully... If all goes well and the political system stands up, um, then the council will do the right thing and um, give me that sewage plant. Thank I you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. John, how does it feel to, I think this is your fifth Emmy win, five. How does it feel? Oh, it feels amazing. Uh, this is um, different <laughs> than the others, as you can tell, because um, Mentally, half of my mind is on how am I going to clear up all of this fucking glitter? Uh, but uh, this feels uh, very nice. Um, a decapitated hand gave me an Emmy out of a box, and that's how I always dreamt it. The other four were just uh, too pedestrian in terms of the way that I got them. So this is uh, really, really special. It really is. The thing is, I'm, I'm trying to be funny about it, but it's actually something genuinely magical about a box thrusting a trophy at you um i it was amazing as you said a special night lots of political references and a pandemic references tonight as a guy who gives his take sure. on everything what's your take on the emmys so far uh i mean it's look jimmy kimmel is the best I, he kind of the, is the best possible host at the best of times and uh he's even better at the worst of times there's no one that can do this and if, if things start going really badly he's just gonna get funnier and funnier so he's doing a fantastic job. Hey, John, congratulations. We're so proud of Thanks, you. Mate. How does this it. compare, though, to Liverpool winning the Premier League? Uh, well, that's tough because I, I don't want to diminish this. I will say Liverpool winning the Premier League, I wasn't sure it was going to mean as much to me as it ended up doing just because of the state of the world. But uh, it was a genuinely emotional experience. When Jurgen Klopp teared up uh, in that interview, when he kind of left the interview because he, he just couldn't, he had been kind of, kind of got short-circuited by emotion, I just started crying. I haven't, I guess it doesn't speak very well of me as a human being that I haven't cried this year, despite, you know, everything. And yet I cried when Jurgen Klopp did. Uh, so Liverpool winning the championship uh, meant uh, an embarrassing amount to me. This is very nice. And honestly... I actually think the only thing that could have made Liverpool winning the championship any better would have been a slightly bigger box shooting the trophy out to uh, to Jordan. So, uh, sorry, it's just, it's very weird trying to hold down a conversation with a camera knowing that this is to my uh, left. Five times in a row. Do you think this is the way ahead for award ceremonies? Um <laughs> to host them during a pandemic. I mean, if the <laughs> pandemic continues, yes, this has to be the way ahead because uh, it's not safe to do it any other way. Um, I don't really have a sense of whether people are enjoying this or not. It does seem like Jimmy said at the start, um, it's a little confusing as to why the Emmys are happening this year. Uh, but so I really hope people are, are enjoying them. But it's very hard to get a sense of whether this is something that people are enjoying uh, or not. I guess I'll look at Twitter later and, and get the answer. Congratulations again. We're so proud of you. Thanks, Ross. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you.
Sorry. <laughs> John Oliver, congratulations right, you, you, to you. Um, it, you know, thank you. you thanks, also, Jim. congratulations, by the way, on the uh, the fact that your show got renewed until 2023, or until yes, the end of the world, as you say. So, which one do you think is going to come first? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's there's a, a there's probably a difference in that answer between my heart and my head. I hope we get to fulfill our contract. You know, there's. Uh, uh, we got three years of shows to do now if the world does not erupt into flame. So, yeah, it's a huge relief. Honestly, the serious answer is it's a huge relief to get a pickup because you worry about um, processing payroll. Like you'd, when you when you help run a show like this, I got a lot of staff uh, that I'm responsible for, and I'm very happy that they're going to have work for the next three years. That's the kind of very very <laughs> practical answer. And how are you personally taking advantage of watching the Emmys from home? I mean, I'm, I've been here the whole time. So I've, I've been watching it uh, on a laptop just to the side. So I haven't really, I haven't um, been tucked. Also, my kids are asleep. So um, uh, this thankfully didn't wake them up. <laughs> Perfect. Congratulations again, John. Thanks, Jen. I appreciate it. John, thank you so much for coming. Congratulations to you and everybody at last week. And we're going to go ahead and send you on to your next stop. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.